preview mode. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just loading it up in the browser so I can see. Oh, look at that. I think we're live. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, gang. Uh, I think we are live on Facebook. The clock has ticked over and we are live and there's already people watching. Hello. Uh, I'm Troy Dean. Oh, look at that. Thomas Amos is here. There's a whole bunch of people here that are already waiting. That Look at that. We're out of the gate. Off and to the races. <laughs> Dave, Boy, how are you, my friend? I'm all right. Thank you very much, Troy. We're having a little, uh, little chat there and uh, it appears yeah. that we're, we're on. I know. I hope, we, I hope we weren't saying, I hope we weren't talking smut or anything when we went live. Not that we would, <laughs> not that we would do that. A couple of fine gentlemen like ourselves. Uh, check this out. There's this great little um, feature in... Uh, in ecamm right where i can actually choose to bring up a comment so i've got i can i'm watching the comments here hey hattie brazley's watching uh hey hattie how are you? now i can do this i can just go add to broadcast and look at that hattie brazley hey guys i just brought her comment comment up on the live stream on the screen there that is awesome. just so fancy i love it um not sure how to get rid of it there we go that's how you get rid of it Loving Ecamm Live, Dave. We were just talking about this before we went before we went live. We haven't used Ecamm Live for a while, um, but uh, uh, it's it's just such a super powerful piece of software for like thirty bucks or whatever it is. It's actually it's on a subscription oh, now, isn't it? They're on a uh, they've gone on... yeah they've gone subscription now. But if I think if you were in, then you you're yeah. in for life. Yeah, that's is... right. It's just crazy, awesome. isn't it? Hey, there's a bunch of people watching. We've got Torquil Smith. Uh, Wendy Will, Aria Lavi, Michael McGinty says, are we live? Yes, we are, Michael. We are live. Jonathan, Jonathan Nagel, I hope I'm saying your name right there. Hattie, of course, is watching. Thomas is watching. Uh, Yogesh Sharma is watching. Uh, Saeed Hunduyen is watching. I hope I'm saying your name right there, Saeed. Thomas Amos is watching. Janet Morningstar. And uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of people. Uh, big comment from Wendy Will. Um, so we might just dive straight into this because Wendy's got a question. Hey, a little bit of context. Why are we here, Dave? What are we doing? <laughs> Sorry about that. Say that again. Why, why are we here, Dave? What are we doing? A little bit of... Little I've bit got of... no idea. You just told me just to get on this call at this time and I'm here and I've, I'm not... <laughs> I don't know. We're just hanging out. <laughs> it's like, by the way, it's two minutes past six o'clock in the morning here in Melbourne. So... <sighs> Props to me for getting up so early, because you're normally the one sitting up till 11 o'clock at night, so I thought... I'm the, I'm, I'm the one on the night shift, usually. Yeah, 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 thank you for that. No worries. Yeah, well, we're here because we've made a course. Yeah, that's right, we did. We made I a course. Think. Yeah, we did. Uh, what's it called? It's, it's called High Ticket Sales Funnels, and, and it's it about, about how to create high ticket sales funnels for your own business or for your clients. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. And I don't say that lightly, but I am thrilled to be involved yeah, with making it. It's good. It's really good. I'm really proud of it too. And I tell you what, the buzz around it has just absolutely knocked me off my feet. The whole team here has just been working flat out to keep up. Uh, the buzz has just been incredible. Um, yeah. And so we thought we'd do, we've been answering a lot of questions on email um, and we just thought we'd jump on and do a Facebook Live to just, you know, try and answer everyone's questions in one fell swoop, as they say. Um, so... Maybe, um, why don't I just dive in and take a couple of questions. We've got a couple of questions here in the chat. Uh, Wendy says, uh, hey, Troy, me and Kelly want to enroll in the course, but we are really, 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 really busy with organising WordCamp Europe. Oh, wow, organisers of WordCamp Europe, that's fantastic. And that's in five weeks' time. Uh, and as we are a design team, we're busy making and ordering all the signage. And so as you can imagine, that's quite a lot. Okay, so what she says is when we enroll now, and wait until later in the year to do anything with it. Is that possible? Totally possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, that she said, we did the WP Elevation course, which is brilliant, works like a charm. Thank you. And we're really happy with that. Uh, uh, awesome. There you go. And by the way, are we seeing you in Berlin in June? Unfortunately, I won't be there in Berlin in June. Are you going to WordCamp Europe, Dave? I'm not going either. I have the chance. But we're, we're away. Right. Yeah. Away, which and I'm quite good at. And I've been away, uh, I'm going away in a couple of weeks to Santa Monica for another two weeks. That'll be my third international trip this year. So if I go away again, I think my wife will just change the locks while I'm gone and I won't be able to get back in. <laughs> so I won't be in Berlin, unfortunately. I've got a little boy, uh, Oscar, who turns two on the 4th of July. So I'll be hanging out in Australia with him. So the answer to your question is, at the moment, we are in what we call pre-sale mode. So you can get access to high ticket sales funnels for a ridiculous price. 
and you will have lifetime access, Wendy, to the program if you enrol uh, during pre-sale. So you can lock it in, you can lock your spot in, secure it now, and then you can feel free to dive in in three months' time if that suits your timeline and uh, and start the program. And we will, it is a five-week drip-fed course, so whenever you start, we'll just drip-feed it to you over that five weeks. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so, so similar question here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, Kev Hagen says, can it be done at our own pace like the Blueprint? For those that don't know, the WP Elevation Blueprint's our flagship course, which kind of teaches you about running a WordPress consulting business from start to finish. Uh, yes, Kev, it is drip-fed, so you can work through it uh, in your own time. Uh, and Jennifer says, this is great. Will you post a live stream after, so in case we are still in with our client making dollars, we can watch it later? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Um Dave, I'm going to throw this one over to you because one of the most common questions we've had on our support chat the last uh, few days is, do I need click funnels to build a high ticket sales funnel? Yeah, so I've, I've had this question a lot myself as well. And the answer is absolutely not. And in fact, it's not that you don't need it. It's the fact we just wouldn't recommend it at all. Yeah. Uh, it is, is, I mean, I've got my feelings about click funnels, mm -hmm. but just to say that it's an expensive piece of kit that does something that you can just do with the free tools that you already use. Um, it has it has kind of like additional things in there, you know, like kind of analytics and um, a, a, a kind of a few extra things, but you just don't need it at all. It's very it's very expensive. It's very very overblown. Um, so what we're teaching in this course is specifically with free tools that you use all the time. So you know, so WordPress, the free version of Elementor all the other kind of little bits of plugins and things that we integrate. We've just made sure that absolutely everything is free. Yeah. And it's not hard to put together. You know, it's not like you would pay for click funnels and save yourself hours and hours and hours of time because this is this is a doddle. Yeah. Um, it's super fast to put together. And I, I can tell you we actually spent quite a bit of time together in London working workshopping that value proposition. I said to Dave, I just I feel bad if we say, Hey, enroll in this course and then we'll teach you how to build a funnel, and then we tell you to go and buy $500 worth of plugins or themes, right? I said, that's a bad experience. I've been there in the past and done stuff like that myself in courses, and I was really adamant at going, and Dave has worked his absolute tush off to find a way that you can have all the advanced functionality uh, in, in this funnel without using any paid plugins or any paid themes. So I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that we've managed to do that, Dave. Yeah, it's just all there. I mean, you were adamant about that. And I remember at the time thinking, well, you know, I mean, even like using Elementor Pro makes certain things a little bit easier in terms of, you know, forms and, and various things to do with like templates and stuff. But when you actually look at it for what we need for this course, you just don't need it at all. That's right. And in fact, the form solution that we're using is far, far better than Elementor's anyway. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, Dave Toomey um, says, Dave Toomey says, ClickFunnels is a bag of spanners held together with duct tape. That's, that's the one. That's what I wanted to say, Dave. I love it, yeah, yeah. So I went down a rabbit hole recently with ClickFunnels, um, and they, there's all these other third-party add-ons, There's and the one there's one called um, CF Pro Tools, which basically adds a bunch of functionality to ClickFunnels, which you can do in WordPress with free plugins. So not only are you yeah. buying ClickFunnels for whatever it is a month, you then have to subscribe to these other third-party tools to do things that it should just do out of the box. And that, my friends, is the problem with a hosted solution. That's why we are such big fans of open-source, extensible software like WordPress. Yes. I should send Matt Mullenweg a bill, I reckon. I should just send him a bill every month. Just say, here, mate, here's a bill for 10 grand because of the good PR and promotion I do for WordPress. Um, now, a couple of other questions we had is, um, what if I already use a different page builder, Dave, like Beaver Builder or, you know, mm. one of those other ones that aren't as good as Beaver Builder or Elementor? Yeah, yeah, the breezes and all those kind of things. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can yeah. use you can use other page builders, no problem. We we teach Elementor because we think it's just the, the the nicest, easiest way to produce a beautifully designed page without having to know any kind of code or anything. Uh, the, the 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 styling functionality is just incredible. So we use Elementor. We show you how to build the pages in Elementor. But if you've got a Beaver Builder, you can still follow the course. You can still replicate those designs. You know, there's nothing special about Elementor that you need uh, specifically. It's all Beaver Builder will handle it more than adequately. Beaver Builder is a fantastic page builder. Um, I just think it just doesn't quite have the 
the extensive kind of styling controls that the Elementor's got. But yeah, being the builder is totally, totally fine. Uh, awesome. A couple of things here. I want to address Yogesh because this is this is an interesting question. Yogesh says, "Hey, I checked your website. Do you write content for websites? Would love to chat more in private message." Yogesh, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag here. There's somebody on this call who's watching right now who is responsible for writing the copy for our website and our emails, and her name is Hattie Brazley. So uh, Yogesh, connect with Hattie in the in the chat there in the comments and connect with her because she is the master copywriter behind here. Now, Dave, you've got a very interesting story about how you found Hattie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Hattie is incredible. I love I'm not the same she, is, you're on she the call. is. She is. I'm not the same because you're on the call, Hats, honestly. Um, yeah, the, st the story was I was looking for a new accountant because I've, I've worked for myself for the past, well, I don't know what, 16, 17 years or something like that, a few, few hundred years. And uh, my experience with accountants has been patchy at best. And um, I just thought one day, I thought, I'm absolutely sick of accountants letting me down. I had this whole like long list of, 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 of issues and frustrations and things that I've been complaining and swearing about for years. And, and I just thought, I wonder whether there is an accountant that kind of understands my needs, you know, as like an online course creator, you know, online entrepreneur kind of thing. So I typed a few little words into Google and up came an accountant at the top that promised to service people like me. And I, I thought, well, OK, that sounds pretty good. Clicked through to the site and, oh, my word. I mean, literally every single word on that site. To say that the words spoke to me is an understatement. I just, every line was like, no, that's, that, yes, that's me. Yes, that's me. That's me. And before I finished the homepage, I was I was filling in the contact form and thought I need to speak to this accountant. Every single word on that on that entire site was just exactly what I'd been complaining about in my own words. It's just incredible. So I contacted it anyway. It kind of didn't work out with that particular accountant for various reasons. Not her fault. But one of the things I said is like before I before I go who's the copywriter because <laughs> I've got to know and uh so yeah she said oh yeah it's Hattie Hattie's Hattie's amazing and uh yeah yeah get in touch with her no problem so and then I went to the, then the thing after this and then looked her up a couple of months later looked her up I thought I'll find her Hattie copywriter you know it's gonna be, be easy and um there she was and again found her website and yet again found myself reading every single word going, yes, that's me. Yes. So, you know, I, I can help people who make online courses and I've worked with all these people and blah, 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 and all this, all this stuff. And, um, you know, as I, I especially, I especially specialize in, in kind of powerful female entrepreneurs like you who really want to make a difference. And I thought, <laughs> oh, so my first thing was like, hi, Hattie, Dave here. And you probably don't want to vote me. But um, if you do, I would love to speak to you. And, uh, yeah. I love that story. It's fantastic. And uh, you very kindly introduced me to Hattie. And I tell you, it's been, it's been remarkable to watch our uh, – we had a, a two-hour Skype call uh, one night here. And uh, Hattie basically, like, put a vacuum cleaner into my brain and, like, sucked out my brain. And then to watch the, the copywriting come to life and just – and I said to my business partner – I, like this is exactly what I would have written if I had the skill, if I had the time, if I had the mental bandwidth. This is perfect. It's exactly what I was trying to articulate. Uh, and she's, she, it's a real art and a science copywriting um, and can be quite a lonely job because you're kind of stuck in your own head and you're working things out. And she's done an amazing job. Uh, so yeah. there you go, everybody. Uh -huh. Big shout out to Hattie. Um, a couple of questions here that I need to uh, address. Uh, okay, Richard, this is probably the most common question that we get. How do we fill the funnel? Is that something you cover? I don't have much organic traffic. I presume we're looking at Facebook or YouTube ads. Well, my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, we will not be covering uh, how to run paid ads to a funnel as part of this course. That is outside the scope of this course because that is its own entirely separate thing. If you want to master Facebook ads or YouTube ads, there are plenty of courses online that will teach you how to do that. Um, in fact, if you want to learn how to run Facebook ads, I would personally, I've learned everything I know just from following uh, Miles Beckler over on YouTube. So go and check Miles Beckler out and you can learn a whole bunch of stuff over there for free. Uh, the reason that we don't, advocate initially spending a lot of money on ads to your funnel is a couple of reasons. First of all, 
paid traffic for me is a way of amplifying something that's already working. So you want to make sure that your funnel is converting at a rate that you're happy with using free traffic, which I'll talk about in a moment, before you turn on any ads and drive paid traffic to it. Otherwise, you're just going to spend a whole lot of money very quickly without knowing that the funnel is converting. So our advice is build the funnel first, get it converting with some organic traffic, then maybe turn on some ads to amplify it. So the next question is, where do you get free traffic from? Well, uh, there is, can we announce the, can we talk about the secret thing? You said you weren't going to. Oh, okay. Right. Well, 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 well let, let, let me just say this. For those people who enroll in, in, in uh, high ticket sales funnels and actually complete the course and get their certificate, that's right, there is a certificate. Once you complete the course and get their certificate, there might be a surprise bonus for you, perhaps. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Otherwise, Dave's going to hunt me down and beat me to a pulp. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but but he, let, let me just say this. Dave and I made a, a commitment to each other that we wouldn't leave you hanging, that we wouldn't leave any part of this journey uh, untouched. So our – and selfishly, our job is to help you absolutely crush it so that you become one of our case studies and one of our testimonials. So, of course, we're going to do everything we can to help you succeed. Richard, I hope that cryptically answers your question. Um uh, Joe Lashinger says, just tuning in. Thanks for having us. We're, oh, that's okay. Pleasure, Joe. Thanks for tuning in. We're a US agency interested in lead generation and biz dev. Do you recommend this program for a specific agency size? Uh, I can tell you we have agencies uh, going through this program who range from one staff member up to 10 staff. In fact, we're teaching this live at our Mavericks Club Mastermind uh, in a couple of weeks out in Santa Monica. And there are agencies in that program who have, you know, 10 staff plus and are building $100,000 websites. I kid you not. Building websites for a hundred grand. And we'll be teaching them how to install a high ticket sales funnel in their business. We'll be doing it in person at our Mastermind event. So absolutely, Joe. Um, Richard's got an interesting question. Has this, has this been beta tested? What are the success metrics? Um, I might take that one if that's okay. Uh, I might just add. Yeah, that. go for I might it. Just add There's that a very good answer. That. Yeah, I might add that to the uh, to the uh, broadcast there. Richard Bergman says, "Has this been beta tested? What are the success metrics?" Well, Richard, very good question. So, um, it this particular course that we're rolling out right now, we haven't had a beta uh, group go through this course. I mean, this really is the, 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 the group that are enrolling now as part of the pre-sale. They'll be the first students to do this course. However, I can tell you that, uh, you know, when I started out in about 2008, I was using a variation of this funnel to sell websites. It basically consisted of a video and a button to get on a phone call. And it was a very crude version. Before anyone knew what funnels were, I kind of worked out that there was a way to get people to call you on the phone and apply to work with you. Um, I've iterated and made this funnel more sophisticated over the years. I can tell you now that I spent um, I spent uh, about four and a half thousand dollars on Facebook ads in a four week period and closed one hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of new business. So that's about a twenty five or twenty six percent ROI. So uh, this is also a very similar funnel to uh, that you, you that you will have been through when you learn to build this funnel. You'll be going, ah, oh, this is familiar. I've actually been through funnels like this, uh, and there are lots of big marketers online who use these particular funnels to sell high ticket programs. Which, and I do want to talk about that in a moment, the high ticket stuff. So, uh, yes, Richard, this the strategies and everything that we teach in this program have been tested in real life. They haven't been beta tested with a group of students. They've been tested in real life, uh, and it works. Um, I hope that answers that question. Um, did you have anything you wanted to add there, Dave? No, 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 not really. But one of the things as well, I suppose, is that when you were telling me, you were telling me in great detail when we first started talking about this course about your experience of running this funnel and iterating on it and improving it. But you were also telling me as well, I mean, not mention any names, but about people who are using this funnel to similar funnels or, or, or aspects of other people's funnels that you've incorporated into yours from people who are kind of doing six figures, seven figures a year um, to to kind of Im Im improve it as well. So it's not really just that your version of it works, but you've got proof of many, many other people running 
similar funnels as well yeah. that, that, that seriously, seriously do the business. Uh, there's somebody is on as WP Elevation answering questions. I can only imagine that that's Ben, uh, our our designer. Dude, if that's you, you are a legend. It's like 20 past six in the morning and he's based here in Melbourne. Uh, dude, if that is you, I am like well, well, nice well, well, well impressed that you're up and about commenting and answering questions. Uh, people are asking about the Mastermind event, which is a whole other topic I don't want to get into. But Jason Kays, this one is for you. Uh, if you want information on the Mavericks Club Mastermind, just go to themaverick'sclub.com. Just go to themaverick'sclub.com, which may or may not be the top of a funnel. Jason, just uh, just uh, warning you. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, good, 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 good. All right, uh, Lockie. Actually, let me just go back to the. Uh, let me just go back here and address a couple of these questions here. Um, wh- uh, can I pay in instalments, Dave? Do you want to answer that question? Uh, yeah, we have a payment plan, don't we? I think. Yeah, we do. Uh, is it three? Is it three monthly? Yeah, it is. Re- yep. Three yeah, months. yeah, yes, yeah. three monthly. So it just means it's it's it makes it easy to pay for. Yeah, um, it does work out a little bit more expensive if you take the payment plan. Um, if you can make the investment up front, that's great. But if cash flow is tight, then you can take the payment plan. Uh, yeah, Na- yeah. Nathan yeah. Wrigley says hello. Hello, Nathan Wrigley. How are you, my friend? Hey. All right, Nathan. Nathan wasn't at, uh, he wasn't at Lee Jackson's event, was he? He wasn't, no. I, I just don't think he could be bothered, right. to be honest. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the problem. Fair enough. <laughs> Which sounds very Nathan Wrigley, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I, I, think, I think he might have mentioned afterwards something about a holiday or something like that, but, you know. <laughs> uh, Krista Wilkins, I want to I deal with this question because this is, this is my sweet spot. Krista Wilkins says, I offer a lot of services through my agency, but struggle to package them. Oh, Krista. Will this course help address that? Absolutely. In fact... Uh, let me talk about module two. Module two is called funnel strategy, and one of the first lessons, in fact, I think it might even be the first lesson in module two, which is week two, uh, is all about developing what I call your unique process, which is essentially packaging up your service into a product or a process that you can take your clients through to take them from zero to hero. In fact, I suggest everyone do this. Uh, if you are selling websites for, say, for example, at the moment, you're selling websites for, you know, I'm going to make up another $3,000, and you want to sell websites for $10,000, the quickest way to do that is to stop selling websites and start selling a unique process, which happens to include building a website for a client. Because websites are a commodity, if you have a unique process, uh, then you have something that they can only get from you. And back to ClickFunnels, Russell Brunson has done a remarkable job over the last few years of convincing everyone that they need a funnel, not a website. And if you think about it, we talk about this in the course, if you think about it, ClickFunnels is just lead pages organized into folders, right? Or WordPress pages organized into folders. <clears throat> and so there's nothing that unique about the ClickFunnels software itself. Uh, apart from he, the fact that he called it funnels, not pages, and then he made an argument that you need a funnel, not a website, and the only place you can get a funnel is ClickFunnels, which is just not true. Yeah. Um, there's a fabulous little plugin for WordPress called Wicked Folders, which I use all the time. There's a free version, which allows you to put all of your pages in folders inside WordPress, and there's a pro version, which also allows you to organize all your media into folders. But I just use the free version, and I have all of my pages in folders, and guess what? Each of those folders is a funnel. So I have you know, my opt-in page, my, my upsell page, my order page, my checkout page. They're just all in, organized into folders, and that's essentially a funnel. Uh, so... Um, Krista, yes, we definitely address that. In fact, it is like module two is all about packaging your services up into a unique process. Anything you want to you want to add there, Dave? No, no. I'm just thinking of a few questions that people have sent me as well. Actually, I've had a few by email today from people who just couldn't uh, couldn't make it. One, one uh, Jonathan actually was asking, um, are all the scripts provided for everything? You know, for like the sales call and the templates and the copy, mm-hmm. because he was saying that he's fine with the tech stuff but asked to kind of be a copywriter and he, he falls apart so I was just wondering how much of that is 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 provided all of it 
<laughs> oh, literally, we've been working through. Uh, uh, ben has done an amazing job in turning um, mine and Dave's kind of scribbles and ideas into beautiful looking workbooks. So you will literally just be filling in the blanks throughout the course. And by the time your funnel is ready to be published, you'll literally just be copying the stuff from your workbook and pasting it into your funnel. So we give you the scripts for absolutely everything. Uh, Jonathan, uh, we, as I said, we don't, one of our, one of our um, customers out in Santa Monica uh, in February said, it's like you guys don't give us any excuses to not get this done because we just, we think of everything that's going to hold you back and then we say, righto, just here, here we go. Here's how you solve that problem. Mm, yeah. And there's another guy as well, Dan was asking me, um, he said, I know Dan quite well, he said, I absolutely hate social media, cannot stand social media. Uh, this course isn't all about social media, is it? Do I have to be on social media all day long? <laughs> nope. Nope, you do not. Uh, this is not about social media at all. There's yeah. No, it's not about social media. Uh, Lockie says, I've done a bunch of WordPress dev and comfortable doing that. My most current needs is for e-commerce site that's created in Shopify are the, he calls them click funnels, are the high ticket sales funnels useful for multiple platforms even if developed in WordPress but the e-commerce platform is Shopify? Absolutely, 100%. Um, let's, just, let's just break this down. A high ticket, let, let's just talk about high ticket for a second. High ticket is anything that you're selling to a client that requires you to build a lot of trust. So if you're selling a website for, you know, 1500 pounds you can pretty much just have a conversation with someone and get them to sign up and do that that there's not a huge sale long sales cycle involved and there's not an enormous amount of trust involved in building someone a website for fifteen hundred dollars if you're building them a website for fifteen thousand dollars that's a different conversation and or a hundred thousand dollars is a whole different conversation and they need to trust you a lot more to make that kind of investment the old school way of doing this is you know uh, we go to networking events we hand out business cards, we have conversations on email, we nurture relationships, we then go along and we have a meeting with some, you know, three months later we get to have a meeting with someone in their boardroom, we make a bunch of notes, we go home, we write out a proposal, we submit the proposal, you know, maybe six months from the time we met that person to the time they start arguing on price, six months goes by and you may or may not get the job. The whole point of a high ticket sales funnel is to compress that into a couple of days. So someone can come across you, uh, they meet you online, they get to know you in a very, very short space of time. You can literally turn a complete stranger into a high paying client in 48 hours, which is our, that's our benchmark. We've managed to do that you know, time and time again. Sometimes it does take a bit longer. The only reason it takes longer really in our situation is the availability in our calendar to accept those discovery calls or those sales calls. So high ticket is really any, any and, if, and if you're really comfortable selling websites for 10 grand at the moment, you might say, okay, well, I want to sell websites for 25 grand. Let's package what you're doing up into a unique process, put, it, put people through a funnel, build rapid trust quickly, and they'll be more likely to make that investment than um, regardless of what you're selling. It doesn't matter if you're selling Shopify, WordPress. It doesn't matter if you know, you're selling consulting or coaching or care plans or uh, marketing retainers or SEO or if you're, in fact, building funnels for clients, there is a funnel that you can use to sell funnels to clients. So, um, Lockie, I hope that answers that question. Dave, am I rambling? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, the, 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 actual, the actual kind of end product and service itself or the platform you're selling your service on matters not at all i just wanted to pick up on something you just said then as well troy about because when you were first kind of running through this um this idea with me a few months ago i remember one of the things that i really particularly liked about it was that there's a misconception that funnels need to be this kind of extended long relationship building period where over a series of months you kind of deliver value and do this and that and the other and you kind of you kind of gradually build in trust to the point where you might be able to you know, you might be able to kind of offer your offer what you're selling. What I really love about this, it's just such a shortcut to that authority and trust and that relationship really, really, really quickly, and qualifying out the people who aren't aren't suitable as well. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Nathan Wrigley says, "I was on holiday." Honest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So were we, Nathan. We all just happened to be in Wellingborough having a holiday together. Jason K says, give that man a raise. 
So Jason K says, shit, I'm in a funnel now. He's the guy that was asking about the Mavericks slide. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, sorry about that, Jason. Uh, 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 here we go. Um, uh, there's a couple of other questions here. Um, it's not a good time for me right now. Can I join later? Well, uh, here's the thing. At the moment, we are in what we call our pre-sale launch. Uh, the cart is only open for another two days and eight hours and 29 minutes and 49 seconds and counting. So the pricing that you see at the moment on the page, which is courses.wpelevation.com. Maybe I should bring that up here on, uh, on an overlay and go, here we go, here, new text overlay. I'll stick that up there. Uh, hmm, that's not a great font. Courses.wpelevation.com. Let me just see if I can fix this. There we go. And how do I change the actual color of the text? Ah, there we go. Look at that. Fabulous. He's doing a, a terrible job here uh, because um, um, what's it called? Ecamm is giving me a little bit of grief because it's a link, you see. And so I don't want a link. Get rid of the link. There we go. Sophia Pro. There we go. That's better. And let's make it white. There we go. Um, this makes for great television, doesn't it, when Troy talks to himself? <laughs> Courses.wpelevation.com. There we go. Let me just move that down here. That's where you go to get access. Now, while the card is open, you can get access to the course for a ridiculous investment of only $497 or three monthly payments of 197 a month. When that countdown timer hits zero, we will actually be closing the cart for a few weeks, um, probably a couple of months actually, while we get all of our existing students through the program and give them all the love and attention they deserve for being our early adopters. When we reopen in a few months, the price will go up. Uh, the full price of, of uh, high ticket sales funnels is $997. So this is your opportunity to get lifetime access to the program to the course and any updates we make in the future and lifetime access to our Facebook group where you'll be supported with Dave and myself and, and all of your other peers and students. Uh, mm -hmm. You get lifetime access to that for 50% off during our pre-sale period. So I hope that answers that question, uh, whoever was asking it. Uh, you don't have to enroll now, but if you want to pay us double the amount later, then by all means, feel free. You can, you can do that as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, somebody's asking. I had another question. I had yeah, another uh, question today, actually. Sorry, if I just, uh, no, if I no, just no. made that. Sorry, 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 That's sorry, okay. sorry. Uh, totally, sorry. It's totally sorry. fine. I understand. That's sorry. Right. We're going <clears> to <throat> gonna have to fill people in on that story. Oh, we, we will. Um, but first, uh, I've had, I've had two, two people ask this question, actually. How much time is it going to take oh, okay. to actually commit to the course? Yeah. So, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, following the course, how, how much is there to follow? What kind of commitment is there in terms of doing the work involved? Uh, so, and what did we estimate? We said it would take them probably about 48 hours a week to uh, go through. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon, I reckon it's going to take about. Uh, well, there's, you know, if there's, me, 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 I reckon it's going to take probably two to three hours a week to work through the actual course materials, and then you'll spend the rest of the week thinking about how you can tweak what it is you're learning for your particular audience and your particular services. So you'll spend a lot of time thinking about this. You'll probably, whoever you live with, you'll probably drive them nuts over the next couple of months <laughs> talking about funnels and, and, and process and, uh, you know, conversions and opt-ins and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but um, uh, about two to three hours a week to actually work your way through the course materials, I would suggest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds about right. Yogesh has got an interesting question. Um, uh, can we ask our current clients video testimonials and put them on the landing page for proof? Yes, you can. I'm not sure how to approach them now to get a video created for a case study. Any idea for an email? Well, I'll tell you what, Yogesh. Uh, let me just give you this. I There's a standard email I have, which I'm happy just to give you right now, if you like. And I learned this from my friend Dale Beaumont years ago, and he probably learned it from someone who learned it from someone who picked it up from a Roman back in the 1300s, because everything's, everything's derivative. Um, and the, the email basically says, uh, hi, dear client, um, we're, we're, doing, we're collecting some data on why our customers are happy working with us uh, for some you know, case studies or testimonials. And I, if you don't mind, I've just got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. And the four questions I ask them are this. Were you hesitant before hiring us? Why did you hire us? What was the thing that made you decide to hire us? What is the specific benefits you've received from working with us? And would you recommend us to other people and why? 
They're the four mm-hmm. questions. What you do is you then take the answers to those questions, you remove the questions, and you just piece it together into like a one or two paragraph script that you can publish as a written testimonial, or you can then use that script, give it back to the client, and ask them to read it out on camera, and then you've got a video testimonial. There you go. Mm-hmm. That, I could make a whole course about that right there, couldn't I? Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got a question here from Christine that says, oh, geez, I've got to move to Elementor. I just want to focus on strategy. No, you don't need to move to Elementor. Dave, I'll let, I'll let you take this one. Yeah, you don't have to move to Elementor at all. The tools don't matter. Um, it, the strategy and the concepts and the framework that you understand are everything. You know, the tools are a, a minor inconvenience, if anything, really, to, to actually just getting this thing done. It doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, I know... I, all the kind of funnels teaching that, that, that I do, people get so hung up on, you know, kind of like lead magnets and creating lead magnets and delivering lead magnets and landing pages and, and, and everything else. And it, that's, that's the stuff that is, that you just, just, just get past. It doesn't matter at all. The strategy and the concepts and the understanding, the framework are absolutely everything. Got it. And yeah. here we go. In Christine's defense, Christine is actually a deaf digital marketing agency here. Uh, so she said she might not have picked that up because, you know, she's a good lip reader, but we're moving uh, really quickly here. So yeah. uh, apologies for that, Christine. Uh, someone has left a chat here. Um, and also, can someone else leave a comment and let Christine know that, yes, the videos in the course all have transcriptions? Uh, can someone please let Christine know in the chat there? Uh, let her know that, yes, we do have transcriptions for all of the courses uh, in um uh, for all of the videos in the course, there are the transcriptions included. Uh, and it was really easy to do that because Dave and I happen to both work off a teleprompter. So we both actually script out our videos before we shoot them. So uh, you're basically mm. just going to be reading exa- word for word exactly what's in the video. Um, uh, Here we go. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, perfect. Um, here we go. Daniel, Daniel Favor says... <clears throat> My typical client is a solo therapist in the mental health space. In the mental health space, who's in private practice. Aha, Daniel. My wife is a psychologist who is a therapist in the mental health space. They don't like to spend money. That's true. Well, well, I could challenge you on that. But anyway, um, is this going to help me attract the ones who actually will spend money? My current sites range from two and a half to four k. So. Um, Every every morning when I walk the dog, there's a cafe on the corner of my street and there's a psychologist who sits out the front of the cafe and he's on his laptop. And I know he's a psychologist because I've happened to see over his shoulder whenever he's he's working on a website and I've happened to kind of peek over his shoulder and go, oh, no, he's working on a WordPress website. And I've spotted the name of the website that he's working on. Then I did a quick Google search and I found out that he's a, he's a local psychologist. <laughs> and what I've worked out is that before he goes to work, he goes to the cafe every morning and spends a couple of hours working on his business before he then goes and and he's a solo practitioner. There's no one else on his website. It's just him. And uh, so, yeah, if there's a solo practitioner, you might struggle to get them to spend $15,000 on a website. But my argument would be, you know, why box yourself into a corner where you're only dealing with clients who are never going to spend more than two and a half to five thousand dollars on a website? Right. I would position yourself if you if you can really help mental health practices, if you if you are positioned well to help private practices, then target private practices that have four or five practitioners or, or therapists working there because they'll have a bigger budget. You know, the, the thing I've learned over the years is trying to sell a ten thousand dollar website to someone who's only got two and a half thousand dollars to spend is a sure way to get frustrated very quickly because if they just don't have the money, they don't have the money. And no amount of wizardry is gonna manufacture the money for them. So have the same conversation with a different quality client and this funnel will definitely help you attract that higher quality client into your business. Mr. Foy, you got anything you want to add there from yeah, no, that was one of the one of the biggest things. I mean, not not specifically about this course, but one of the biggest things when when I've I've been doing I've been teaching uh, now for like the last two years. But I was a web designer, ran, ran my own web design agency for the best part of sort of sixteen years, and that was towards towards really the end. It took a long time for the penny to drop, but towards the end, that was the thing that really dropped for me. It was like, wow, I actually need to speak to different people. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Well, it could, because it wasn't that I, I, I wasn't good at, at selling to 
my level of clients, but it's just that they just didn't have the cash. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was a real mindset shift. Yeah. Yeah. Being very clear about who it is that you actually want to work with. I mean, the, the, uh, the luxury car dealerships are generally not in the low socioeconomic suburbs, are they? Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that would just be a sure way to go broke if you're trying to sell Ferraris <laughs> out in, you know, a particular suburban area where, you know, people are, just haven't got the disposable income or haven't got the, you know, the, the capacity to buy a Ferrari. Um, yeah. Interesting question here. One from Richard, and then I'll throw to you about No Fear Funnels, Dave. Richard says, any chance you're willing to bundle the high ticket sales funnel program and the blueprint program? Wanted to sign up in April, but serve as my worship director at my church and April equals Easter shenanigans. Richard, unfortunately, I can't bundle the high ticket sales funnel program with the blueprint program. But what I can tell you is this. If you enroll in the blueprint program, you actually get high ticket sales funnels at an even better price because we look after our members that way. So I can't bundle them, but if you do enroll in the blueprint, then you'll be in, in the next two days, then you'll be uh, you'll qualify to get the high ticket sales funnels at an even uh, better price. And Amber says, yeah. is there any are there any ongoing fees like there are with WP Elevation if we jump in later at a higher price? No, uh, there's no membership attached to this. Amber, uh, this is just a one-off payment, and you you have access to it. Uh, yeah. And Josh Dunn says, hey, Troy and Dave, is there any content overlap with Dave's No Fear Funnels course? <clears throat> I've had this question a lot, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there's quite a few people. I think just the fact that, 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 that they've both got funnels in the name and I'm involved with them. So, you know, I can see the connection. But, yeah, there's there's hardly any overlap at all, actually. The, um, the way that I've figured out to explain this kind of, I think, fairly easily and fairly clearly, I hope, is that No Fear Funnels is really kind of broad and universal, right? So what I'm teaching you in No Fear Funnels is how to kind of create, it's this, it's kind of like the concept of funnels and, the, and a framework for thinking about them and design them and building them that you can do for to attract any kind of ideal customer for any kind of business. So my my students in No Fear Funnels, they do, I mean, they're, they're all kinds of people running all manner of business. I've got people who sell, you know, paper mache patterns online and things like that, you know, it's, and personal trainers and quite a lot of web designers as well, but all manner of different people. So it's kind of very, very broad. Now, that's great in, fact, in the fact that you can then turn that to, to be able to create funnels for any kind of thing, which and, and you know, for any kind of client. But the downside is, is that it is very, very broad. So it doesn't get very specific about any one particular use case, which, in one sense, is quite is, is also its downside. Whereas this course, so, so the, the, the way I've explained that in terms of an, a, like an analogy, because I love analogies, um, <laughs> is that it's a little bit like if this, if if, if No Fear Funnels was actually called No Fear DIY. Right. So, you know, if it was a DIY course teaching you, you know, how to put shelves up and fix, you know, put garden swings up and fix the fence and whatever else. So no fear DIY would be very much kind of, you know, what kind of materials might you use for all kinds of different jobs? What kind of tools might be appropriate for 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 this or this or this or this? So it give you like a really broad understanding of DIY. You could kind of turn your hand to think you still wouldn't be an expert in any one of them, but at least you know you might be able to turn your hand to, 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 to those things. This course is very much like I think of a bit like flat pack furniture, right? It's like going to IKEA, you want that beautiful wardrobe right there, right? And you've spotted it, it's perfect, it's exactly what you need. So you just buy that piece of flat pack, even if you know an idiot like me. I mean, I can't even hold a, a screwdriver, right? I have no idea. So, um, don't let me near a hammer. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> buy a piece, you know, buy some flat pack, get it home, and it tells you exactly what to do, step by step, all the bits, all the all the bits of wood. Now I can't take that piece of flat pack that is for a wardrobe and then go, um, oh well, you know, I'm going to just make a bed now as well from that, or I'll make some shelves. It's just it doesn't it doesn't work. But it gets you exactly to that very, very, very specific thing. Mm -hmm. So No Fear Funnels is very broad and universal. This is a specific funnel for a very specific purpose mm -hmm. for a very, very specific outcome. Yep. Yeah, high ticket clients yep. and high ticket projects. So <clears throat> it's very, 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 very different. I would say that the, 
that the whole kind of concept of how this funnel works isn't one that I touch in No Fear Funnels at all. So, Great. they're very, very... Awesome answer. Yogesh says, I create websites for home builders in Australia. What should I mention for the word strategy call on the book and appointment page? Very good question, Yogesh. And we cover that in module two and module three. Of course, I could tell you now, but that wouldn't be fair to everyone who's enrolled in the program. So unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, but there are there are entire lessons around that and entire worksheets and exercises to help you figure that out. Uh, <laughs> I'm being a tease. Um, now, will there be live webinar groups during the course? If so, what time zone, says David Hibbert. Good question. Uh, there will be some live coaching calls during the uh, course. Um, the time zones will, ba will be based on where our membership, where our students are. We try and do you know, that they'll probably be, I mean, I, I, at the moment, I'm guessing that they'll be early morning Melbourne time, uh, you know, uh, er, early evening or late evening UK, which is kind of middle of the afternoon in the US. So we do try and cater for everyone, but it depends on where the, the students are. If everyone was in the I UK... Tell, I can tell you now that they're going to be midnight where I am. <laughs> um, there's, there's, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and if you're in Thailand, like my friend Monte Cristo, then they'll be at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, <laughs> And he's actually, he's actually watching this in Thailand right now. Uh, Jonathan says, um, is it the other way around? I also want to join the Blueprint. Uh, unfortunately, Jonathan, we, uh, there are no discounts available for the Blueprint. Um, uh, but if you uh, join, so what I would do is, you're better off joining the Blueprint than getting high ticket sales funnels at the better membership price. Teresa says, what about the people who have already completed the Blueprint? Is there a deal there? Email support at WP Elevation. Teresa, if you've completed the Blueprint, email support at WP Elevation and we'll tell you what you need to do. Um, uh, Richard Bergman says, uh, it sounds awesome, so should I enrol for the Blueprint first? Yes, go and enrol at the Blueprint now and then uh, email support and ask them how you get the members price for high ticket sales funnels. <laughs> Dave's going, no, give us the full amount. <laughs> um, uh, here we go. Janet says the blueprint is worth every penny. Oh, thank you very much, Janet. Um, uh, Wendy says, I have to go. Thanks for your answers. We're looking forward to it. But first, WordCamp Europe. Bye-bye. Awesome. Um, yep. And Jason says, yeah, the word funnel is clearly an overlap between the two courses. Yep. And we're yeah, 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 yeah. aware of that. For sure. Yeah. Uh, good. Good. Now, uh, here's the thing. I need to bounce out of here in about five minutes because at in in 13 minutes I'm running a mastermind call for our Mavericks Club mastermind group <laughs> members, um, and so I do need to bounce out here in a couple of minutes. But I just wanted to um, say a huge thank you to my friend here, Dave Foy, who has just mate, you've poured your heart and soul into this program, and it was an absolute pleasure working with you in London. I was blown away yeah. at your work ethic and how professional you are, as opposed to me, who was just giggling the whole time at the concept of a human <laughs> guinea pig. <clears throat> For those that have seen the bloopers, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but, mate, you, you, were, you were slick. You're a professional. First time in a, in a, in a you know, studio with cameras, and, a, and you've used teleprompters before in the past, but you just, you know, you weren't spooked at all. You just slid through that perfect land. It was an absolute pleasure working with you, my friend. Thank you. Man. We, 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 we definitely had a blast. It was, a, it was an awesome week. I mean, I learned so, so much from that, from that week, actually, about making courses, about, and from you, really, I just, uh, about, you know, running a business and, and everything else. So it was, it was, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, we've been off since, haven't we, making the course afterwards as well, you know, yeah, yeah. you've been in your studio, I've been in mine as well. So, but, uh, yeah, thank, thank you, brother, because yeah. it was, uh, I loved it. Absolutely yeah, loved same. it. Same. Next time we'll uh, next time you'll have to come out to Australia and we'll make a course in the studio here in Melbourne. That'll be fun. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, awesome. send, send me the ticket. I'll help you there. <laughs> I will. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, so just to be clear, pre-sale ends in two days, eight hours, eleven minutes, and seven seconds. Uh, I don't even know what time of the day that is, but I think it's about three p.m. Friday afternoon our time. And we thought we'd close it then because then we can knock off and have a couple of celebratory beverages on a Friday afternoon in the office, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, the price is 4.97 for high ticket sales funnels. This is uh, a ridiculous 50% off. Uh, the full price is 9.97, but for the next two days and eight hours, you can get it at 4.97 or three monthly payments of 197 a month. Uh, go and check out courses.wpelevation.com. Oh, also, I just want to quickly thank a bunch of people who have joined. Uh, so. Here we go. Let me just have a look at my notifications here. I want to thank uh, Eric Grotenhuis. I think I am saying your name right. Thank you very much. Uh, Sturk in Media. That's obviously a company name. Thanks for joining. Tara Johnson, Corporal TFJ. 
uh, has joined. Richard Roscoe, thank you for joining. Joe Lashinger, thank you for joining. Uh, High Ticket Sales Funnels, love your work. Thanks for being a part of it. And um, uh, here we go. Not that I think it's worth it, but to be fair, you're offering the discount. Thank you for, hang on, I need to read this one. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to answer questions for us. Uh, honestly, I've really been in need of a community who can encourage and give timely feedback. You all are incredible and God bless, says Richard Bergman. Well, thank you for being a part of it, Richard. Oh, thank you, Richard. And uh, Ramaya, oh, this is a good question. Ramaya says, is the course delivered upon sign-up? Uh, Ramaya, good question. The first module rolls out on the 6th of June. We are in pre-sale right now for a reason. We're in pre-sale because the course rolls out on the 6th of June partially because of travel schedules and a whole bunch of other stuff going on here in the business with our mastermind that we're running out in Santa Monica for our Mavericks Club members. And also, truthfully, because our Mavericks members get everything first. So we're actually teaching this to them in person uh, June, 3, 4 and, uh, June 3, 4 and 5 in Santa Monica. Everyone else gets it the day after. So our Mavericks get everything first because that's part of the, you know, why they're a Maverick Club member. Um, so uh, June 6 is when the first module rolls out, but you can sign up now. You'll be in the, you'll get access to the members' website. You'll get access to the Facebook group. Keep the conversation going, uh, and you know start forming some relationships with your fellow students. And by the time the course rolls out on June 6, you'll be ready to hit the ground running. Um, yeah. Uh, Rich Dean, this is a good question, Rich. I'm very intrigued, but to play devil's advocate, and to be fair, not knowing much about you both, I'm guessing teaching is your full-time gig now. It is. It's, it's your full-time gig too now, isn't it, Dave? Oh, God, yeah, it's been for years. Yeah, two, two and a half years. Yeah. Uh, yep, and teaching is my, coaching is my full-time gig now. Our last client project we ran in probably January 2017 was the last time we had a client project. I'm curious if either of you have used these principles in recent times, and if so, what is the average revenue of projects you have one using it? Well, so I, I now serve agencies, so I coach and consult with agencies, right? So, my, so I don't build websites for agencies, but I coach and consult agencies, and I'm selling a high-ticket product doing that. Um, so... Uh, to take a step back to when I was running an agency, I was doing uh, high ticket consulting for clients and charging two and a half thousand dollars a month. And basically for that two and a half thousand dollars a month, I was teaching them about digital marketing. I was helping them set up their Google Analytics. I was helping them set goals. I was helping them work out their conversion rates. I was helping them run email marketing through MailChimp. And these people were, some of them were, uh, we had a property developer who was also a finance company, so they would run live events, get people into their funnel through the live events, and then they had a 360-degree business model where they would help you get the finance for a house, help you buy a house, they'd do all your accounting, they'd do your legals and your conveyancing, and they'd basically wrap you up in a 360-degree um, relationship there. Uh, we ran funnels for them. Uh, we also, uh, I was also teaching an Instagram social media influencer who was getting paid ridiculous amounts of money to post on Instagram, and she had a merch shop. Um, I used funnels to attract all of those people, and so we, and then in recent times, I've been using the exact same funnel to build our mastermind program. So, four and a half thousand dollars spent on Facebook ads, and uh, 120 grand in revenue, rich, which I did talk about earlier in the show. So I hope that answers that question. Um, but a hundred percent, you will use this to sell websites. There's absolutely no question. And we talk about that. We talk about the journey of the relationship in the program. I will say this, if you want to use a high ticket sales funnel to sell a $50,000 website to a stranger, you might be pushing it uphill a little bit. If you do that, come chat with me and I'll put you on the podcast because that would be an amazing success story. Um, but there's there's things that you can sell people in between to build that relationship. So, And we do talk about all of that in the, uh, in the course. Um, oh, Yogesh says, I'm not sure if it was in testing phase, but module one is available now and I've actually gone through a few videos there yesterday. Well, I'll have to get the boys to fix that because that shouldn't have happened, but there you go. Um, yeah. Jason says, link to Maverick Club. Uh, Jason, I'll just stick it in the comments here. It's themaverickclub.com. Um, yeah. uh, themaverickclub.com. There we go, Jason. And I think that's about it, really. Uh, Russell says, I couldn't leave without saying thank you, Dave and Troy. See you in the course. Beautiful. There we go. Dave, been awesome. Thanks for sitting up late, brother. What is it, almost 10 o'clock where you are? No it's all right, 10 o'clock. It's, it's still not my bedtime. We're all right. We're good. Lovely. Um, we're good. good stuff. i got to bounce out. Thanks for being a part of it, uh, and we look all look forward to seeing you inside High Ticket Sales Funnels. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Bye. Thanks, Dave. See you, mate. Bye.